in this video a circuit from a beat frequency oscillator that works with a variable capacitor and has a quite big tuning range between 300 kilohertz and 700 kilohertz. In my first attempt I made this BFO. It was made with uh, three normal silicon diodes bridged over a coil on say for 50 kilo, uh, kilohertz. These three diodes acted as a kind of uh, varactors, variable capacitors, but the frequency um, difference between the highest and the lowest frequency was too small, only 4 kilohertz. And um, for a beat frequency oscillator it's better to um, generate a frequency that is 5 kilo kilohertz higher and 5 kilohertz lower than the IF frequency. And in my case that was 450 kilohertz. I pen over somewhat first. The, the outcoupling capacitor must be fine experimental. It's now 3 picofarad in this circuit. And um, it can be another value and you have to send in that beat frequency signal into the IF amplifier. There are different possibilities to send it in. You can send it in at the mixer, mixer transistor. You can send it in at the second um, IF filter and even at the detector diode. That all works. Sometimes I have to find the best uh, location to connect my beat frequency oscillator to. And that's uh, still experimental, but I haven't heard uh, radio amateurs in the 14 MHz band. So uh, I have to wait. This is, by the way, the beat frequency oscillator now. You can see that I've used a um, variable capacitor between 10 and 500 picofarad. That gives it a good frequency range. And this is the old unit that did not work so properly. Anyway, um, I've used a um, can, an, I, an oscillator can, uh, with uh, the color code red. Now on the right side in, uh, on the screen. And all these uh, cans are coded and are um, usable for certain frequency bands. And the red one was usable for 800 kilohertz up to 1.3 megahertz. But I added a big uh, diode from 390 picofarad over that coil and also the variable capacitor. And that meant that I took the frequency from this red um, uh, unit down to lower frequencies and they are here. I switch on now the, the BFO. You can hear, see the output signal and when I turn this knob you can see that it changes and at the moment it changes between 427, 421 to uh, 486, so that's a big range, but uh, that's good. And I can tune it, of course, to 450, the frequency where my um, IF filter works. Now it's exactly on 450. Anyway, I want to demonstrate what you have to hear when you tune a beat frequency oscillator. I tune it now here. And this is what you hear.
Hi. This is what you have to hear. And when you, you use a beat frequency oscillator on a normal radio station, uh, in many cases the radio station will be pushed back to kind of zero level because the BFO overrides the, the IF signal. So that is what you have to hear when it works. And I can test it because there are no there's only one active radio amateur that I've heard in the 14 MHz band. Anyway, it works and I hope to do more experiments where I can test it out.